Dear Diary, Greetings. The more I learn about our modern monetary system, the more I am convinced that in it, in our modern monetary system, is hidden humankind's nemesis. If we did not live in a world of on-demand inflatable currency, we probably would not have invented this uh, illogical notion that all resources that we will ever need will be available at our beck and call so long as the markets are functioning properly. This notion has given us a false hope of cornucopia that is endless supply when what we need is to discipline our wants our consumption our reproduction we have started believing that our wants our demands are sacrosanct and that supply must rise to meet our demands. We have forgotten how to rein ourselves in. And in it are the seeds of all our problems, of ecological imperative. So our monetary system has at its base a currency based on debt and debt at interest. I don't hold a brief uh, for you know the people who believe that interest uh, usury is sin. Uh, we will talk about that another time. Uh, but basically the system of inflatable currency has resulted inflatable at will currency has resulted in all of our real that is the material wealth you know the houses the uh, agricultural land the fruits the, the cars whatever uh, everything being valued in terms of IOUs or promissory notes don't believe it give me a sec Now what does this say at the bottom? Right there. Of course Gandhiji is there. But what it says at the bottom is Mai dharak ko 500 rupiye ada karne ka vachan deta hun. I promise to pay the bearer the sum of 500 rupees. And what exactly is that sum of 500 rupees? Against this? The governor of RBI who has signed on this, Mr. Subarao, I believe, will give me another note like this, another promissory note like this, right? And these notes are printed against the treasuries, promissory notes, that is Government of India bonds. Now this is true. Of every country. In some countries the central banks are publicly held or quasi-government institutions or an arm of governance in others they could be actually private banks or a body held and owned by private banks. Well, Anyway on top of these are bank accounts which are guess what promises to pay us that sum that amount that purchasing power probably by the bank whatever amount is held my bank account is merely that if tomorrow the bank folds up 
I'm not likely to get that money. Yes, there is some insurance, so I'll get back some money. The government might support me to an extent, but if the bank really closes down, I won't get any money. So, a bank account is also a promise. And loans. If I take a home loan, it's basically a promise that I'm making to the bank that I'll pay them back that money. And on these are built up the promises to pay us a portion of income of a business, which is a stock, equity, a share of a business, of a company. And mutual funds, what are they? These are promises to manage for us a number of what the fund manager believes to be the best promises. Yeah. And on top of all this are layers and layers and layers of derivatives, which are again promises, obviously. What is the basis? I'm sure you can't read it but let me read it once again for you I promise to pay the bearer the sum of 500 rupees these promises upon promises have built a house of cards that gives us a false security but that is going to unravel that will unravel and unfortunately pretty soon we have jumped down a hundred story building and we are enjoying the view en route. Watch the madness of a different kind of mutually assured destruction. MAD. Watch money as debt. This is available on YouTube. But the URL of the official site is on your screen now. Goodbye, dear diary.